Hey everybody, it's me, Ivy, again. Um, today, I would like to do a makeup tutorial. So, bear with my face right now. I never thought in a million years that I would be putting my bare, no makeup face on the internet. I didn't even used to walk out of my house without makeup. Um, I mean, I did suffer from very bad acne for many years. It's finally getting better, but I still have some scars that I'm working on. Um, anyways, I just wanted to come on here because I've gotten a couple of requests to do a makeup tutorial. I'm definitely not a makeup artist whatsoever, but I think what I'm doing is very easy, um, like an everyday look. So I think if I can do it, you can do it. Also, I you can probably tell I have freckles and you know for dang sure it's not from the sun because for some reason Maryland doesn't want to have us like enjoy any bit of our quarantine so they're not no sun just none um I got these freckles actually from I did like a fake tan on my body you, I, you probably can't tell um but I was like well why not give my face like a sun-kissed look so I can go over like a full tanning video if you'd like me to. So freckles, you can kind of see them. I made a, um, an Instagram post and I had like a very natural no makeup makeup look I think yesterday and I had the freckles in it and I had people like sliding in my DMs being like, oh my god, freckles are my like, oh my god, it melts my heart and I was like, we'll let everyone think that they're real um, and then we can just keep it our little secret. I guess I can really quickly explain what I did. I used the Loving Tan. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> just, loving Tan. Um, I obviously got it in ultra dark because go big or go home. Um, and what I did with it, it's the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. And I squirted a little bit on top of the cap. So there's like a tiny, tiny bit. And then I took this little guy here. It has probably like four mini little hairs on it. And I dipped on the top of the cap and then put freckles where I wanted to. Um, at first, I only did, I think, I left them on for like 20 minutes and then wiped them off. And then the next time I washed my face, they were gone. And I was like, well, I kind of really loved it. So what happens if I leave it on? Like how much I would leave on my normal tan on my body. And not gonna lie, I was like petrified. I did it last night and I left it on the entire time I was sleeping. And I think I like frightened my parents when I woke up, but it's fine. Um, but then I washed it off and I think they look pretty good. I hope. Um, but I think this will last a little bit longer. And I think it was probably smart for me to do the first round like only 10-ish minutes. And then you can see if you like it and see if it doesn't like freak you out a little bit. But yeah, I'm nervous. I think I'm nervous because I'm not a makeup person and I now that I'm in the beauty industry, I'm stepping into it. I know a lot of people that are makeup artists and I don't want them to judge me. So please don't judge me. I'm just showing you what I do and what works for me. Oh, also check out this drink. So I got addicted to the pink drinks at Starbucks and I figured I probably shouldn't be like risking my life to go get a Starbucks every day. So I got all the stuff to make it at home. It's so good. If you want to know how to make it, let me know. I should put alcohol in that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, to start, what I would do, obviously, start with a clean face. Um, moisturize. You definitely want to moisturize, especially if you have, like, the fake freckles on because anywhere that you put your fake tan, you want to make sure it's moisturized so it doesn't, you know, look all disgusting. What I use for my primer is the e.l.f. It's, like, a putty primer. So... It looks like this inside. Do I have to do that again? Oh my god, that actually works. 
Okay, so it looks like little, like putty. And I just take my fingers, and I put it in all the spots that I tend to like crease, and I want my makeup to stick a little bit better. But it ends up usually all over my face. Okay, that's why not. I take the BB CC what? I take the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I, I'm not getting used to this. Can you see that? I don't know. It's a color correcting full coverage cream with anti-aging and hydrating serum. Also, I threw away my sponge because I thought that I had um, extra. I thought I had another one and I didn't. We are on a roll here. Yeah, we're doing great. So I'm just gonna use a brush. I usually don't use a brush. Also, how am I supposed to do makeup with bangs? I don't really know. Just ignore them, okay? I'll figure it out. But, so I take that, put it on my sponge or my brush, and when you have the freckles or when you wanna keep that no makeup makeup look, I usually keep all this area kind of untouched by like anything that's gonna be full coverage. And I'm always all for full coverage, especially because I've had my scars on my cheeks and all around here for so long. Anything full coverage was my shirt, you know? So what I'm gonna do is kind of cover from here down, but not a lot, because you don't want it to look like you have a filter on your face if you're going for a no makeup look, because it's just not believable. So I just kind of pat around. Oh, this is good lighting to see, and also looks like it doesn't match my face, but I swear it does. So just pat, pat, pat. Make sure you get on that neck too. And then just very lightly with like the excess, kind of go over. I have a ring light I should probably be using. Ooh. I got some foundation lips going. So now like I'm I barely have anything. You can still see the freckles, but beat my face a little bit. And usually the next step I would do if I was doing like a full coverage look would be to conceal under my eyes. But I think I don't think you need it. What I would use for a concealer is the NYX Born to Glow. <laughs> that one. And um I really like it. It's got this little spongy thing on the end. It's really a lot cheaper than shape tape. And it's like the same amount of coverage if you ask me. I like to set my face with some baking powder. And it smells like bananas. And I take my powdered sponge. So this is a different kind of sponge than I would use for my CC cream because this is a material that's like specifically made for powder. Um, so I just kind of dip in there and go over here where I get kind of oily. Right around there. And I like to pack it into my skin. <laughs> it's probably really good for me, you know? Um, rather than like brush it on, I think it stays longer the fluffy brush and kind of get everywhere but again not covering too much like in the middle of my face it's also like translucent so guys this smells so good it literally smells like bananas who doesn't want their face smelling like that does sound kind of weird anyways and next step I know I probably do this in like a weird Order. I'm gonna move my, what are they called, bangs out of the way. I have like kind of dark eyebrows, but they're like patchy in hell. So I just fill them in usually towards like the ends, fluff them up. Guys, I wanna laminate my eyebrows. Has anyone ever done that? Where you like saran wrap your head and you like, they get all fluffy, so I wanna do that. But, oh, I'm bad at this already. Um, I use the Maybelline Brow Pencil, the Micro Crayon. Crayon? Crayon? 
don't know. But it's got the spoolie on one end and a really, really fine tip on the other. Um, let me go do this in a mirror so I don't look insane. My eyebrows are already not even like family members. So let me go make them look a little bit better. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I mean, they look nowhere near perfect. This is what I'm worried people are gonna judge me about. But like, it's freaking quarantine people, I like, don't. I need my eyebrows done. I don't have lashes anymore. All right. The next step. Um, I go for the hula bronzers. So I have like the normal one that everybody always gets. And then also the darker one in caramel. I usually like blend them. I usually use both. Um, right now I'm probably only gonna use the caramel one because I did just fake tan. Take my nice big fluffy brush, dab it on in there. I really like take my time with bronzer because if you go too quickly and you're patting it all and rubbing it all into the bronzer and then you immediately put that on your face, your bronzer gets like dirty looking and that's just unfortunate. So what I usually do, I tap it in there, tap, rub off the excess. And then instead of like sweeping it automatically onto your face, I usually like, like, like that. And then I swirl it. That way it's super blended. Just little dabs and then start swirling. And I know if you know me, you, I love my bronzer. Love, love, love to have, I feel like I can never have enough, but there probably is a point where it's too much. I just usually don't know when that is. Oh God, it's coming, it's coming for me. Oh no, Lord help me. Like, what are your bangs? I don't even know. All right, and then I do it up here too because everyone wants that, you know, small forehead look. We gotta look like we have no nose, no forehead. What's that one TikTok thing where it's like, we gotta convince the man we don't have a nose, whatever. <laughs> I hope you know what I'm talking about because I sound stupid if you don't. Make sure you blend this into your hairline or else you just look like a dang bat with a line right there. It looks like I have one right now, but I don't think I do. It's just on the camera. But really bronze it up because we're going for the sun-kissed, just got off the beach, maybe Ocean City, one. All right, and then I go underneath the chin here because I have a pointy chin, like pointy. Get rid of that shit. My sister aunt has it too. Shout out, Gabby. Probably doesn't even watch these videos if I'm being honest. It's fine. And then get rid of the double chin. Cause not only is it pointy, but I have multiple. All right. Next, I will take the lighter bronzer because I need to just be careful. Really dip it in there. So I wanna dip a smaller fluffy brush into the lighter bronzer. And this is what I'm gonna to use to contour my nose, but I'm not gonna do a lot because then you cover the freckles. But really just go on one side here. Don't be afraid to kind of go up into this section here because when people just do their nose, like just this part of their nose, it looks kind of funky. So it doesn't really look as realistic. So make sure you go all the way up and then blend for days. And when you think you're done blending, keep blending. Make sure it looks like you just got plastic surgery so it's perfect. It's probably not the right brush for it either. Underneath to get that cute button nose. And then I'll take a smaller fluffy little brush and go here. Not all the time, but today I'm feeling a little funky. And it gives you that like, you know, the look. For my eyeshadow, I'm not a big eyeshadow girl. Um, 
I think it's because of my eyelids. I think like when I open my eyes, you can't see them. Um, maybe that's why. I don't know. But usually if I'm going to do an eyeshadow, I go pretty much with the same color as my blush. And that's, I mean my bronzer. My bronzer, not my blush. Take the light hula color. And it really, I think it's good for blue eyes, but I don't know. Um, I really just go very, very lightly on my lid and just blend out so it doesn't really look like you're wearing anything on your eyes. Just looks like it's naturally kind of a little bit smokier. Um, I just cover my lid here and then just blend out. And I know you can probably like barely see it, but to me it's there, you know? And then just fluff out, just make little circles. My face is probably not cute right now. I should put my ring light on, that would be smart. I keep forgetting that my drink. I also think I want more bronzer. Is that bad? I don't know. No, I tan yet. Swirl, swirl. And sometimes with like the excess bronzer that I have on this brush, I'll just kind of blend it a little bit. I pro this is probably so wrong. But I think sometimes when it looks like you have like a line right there, it's kind of funky. So just kind of very lightly. Still see little freaks. They're so cute. I love them. I just got this probably two weeks ago. The NARS um, orgasm blush. Sorry, that's what it's called. Um, is this the, I want, can you see it? Oh, there you go. That's pretty. I just got this one because I heard it's all the rage. The kids these days. Um, I liked it because it's not too glittery. I obviously love going overboard. So like highlight, bring it to me. But like when it's, there's glitter and stuff from the highlight and sometimes bronzer has it and then you put it in blush too it's just too much and I think what scarred me from all the glitter on my face was when I had a bunch of acne and when you have a bunch of glitter and sparkles on your face it like intensifies your acne like it's horrible I was getting my makeup done and they were like practicing like putting on like which color would fit me and whatever whatever and they went to blush and it had some like so much sparkle in it and I was like I I'm so sorry like it's a very pretty blush, but it's not gonna work for me because it's gonna show my acne. And they're like, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. And I was like, I'm about to have a breakdown because I mean, it makes you so insecure already. And then like to have someone tell you like, it's fine. It's like, you have no idea. For the blush for this one, for this look, I like to do my blush kind of not just right here, like on the funny smile, the apples of your cheeks, but I like to bring it up because I think when you bring up your blush, it kind of lifts your entire face. And I also do my blush wherever the sun would hit if I were outside and Maryland wanted to give me some sunlight. So I kind of start here, same thing, like little pats you don't want to move any of like your CC cream that you already put on or any creams that you did put on for coverage because then what was the point and it looks disgusting no offense <sighs> that just sounded so bitchy Ooh. golly need some human interaction so I can stop acting like this so people need to put me in my place okay it's already looking a little bit more sun-kissed which is the goal and I, you're probably not supposed to do this, but I bring it over here and then I put a little bit on my nose. And then on my forehead, because everybody knows like when you go outside, you're at the beach, that forehead, your nose, cheeks, always the places you get a little burnt. 
I would kill to get some sunburn right now. But I think when you do it on your nose like that, it looks a little sun-kissed. I need to get rid of these like foundation lips I have on. Real bad. Let's do some highlighter. I've had this, this cracks me up every time. Stilla, Stilla highlighter. Yeah, I don't know. Um, in the color Billionaire. <laughs> That's not me. I'm just so unemployed. Um, but it looks like this. It's very gold and creamy. So when I put on this highlighter, oh, here it is. Um, just use like a smaller fluffy brush. It literally feels like a liquid. Like, look at that. Ooh, Miss Kylie Jenna. Like it's liquid gold. I found this at TJ Maxx. And so I start like right on the corner of my face, like the corner of my eye a little bit out. And I work my way down to the apple on my cheek. Just swirling. Make sure when you're applying your highlighter, you don't go like this. Because then it's easy to see that line. It's already like a little bit hard to not see that depending on the highlighter that you use. Make sure you're swirling and really blending so that you don't get that highlight line. And then I go right here at like, what's that part of your nose? I don't know. And then at the tip of my nose to get that cute button nose look on my cupid's bow. And I think if you wanna go for like the no makeup, sun-kissed, dewy look, this is kind of where it all polishes off. I put like two little squiggle lines right here. If it does anything, I'm not really sure. I think it does. Sorry about that. My mom just came in and interrupted my video. She wanted to know I wanted food. I can't sit there, but I'm working. Anyways, I think I was talking about highlighter. Um, I think that's like the cherry on your freaking cupcake if you want to get that no makeup makeup look and the golden bronzy, you know, sun kissed look. I have worn the same mascara, not the same one, but like the L'Oreal voluminous original since I think like sixth grade. I've tried a bunch of different things. Um, I mean, I have a bunch here, but like, this is the only one that I, I come back to it every time, every freaking time. My mom gave me hers when I first started wearing makeup. And I think from that moment on, I'm like a loyal little girl to this thing. I would always get compliments like, oh, your eyelashes are so long, they're so thick. And I think, like, you can tell I don't have any, like, mascara on now. You can't see them. I think it's this. I think this is the secret. I don't I think it clumps in the right way, and that sounds like a negative thing, but, like, it builds the way I like it to build, and it doesn't get chunky. These aren't the right words to describe it. This one I don't mind either. Um, the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express. I think probably because they have a very similar wand that I don't mind them. It just kind of smells weird. Maybe it's just mine. That would be weird. But I've actually, <laughs> during quarantine, only been using this one because I know that when quarantine is done and I want to step out on the town, I'm going with my girls. I'm saving her. Even though she's like $5 from Walmart. I don't have $5 at the moment. I want to I want to use her. I want to use her. Special occasion. I think I Did 
you do not respect me as a businesswoman? Anyways, for this look, I think what I tend to do is go a little bit lighter on like the coats because no one's eyelashes are naturally like black and bold and look like spiders. Um, so if you're going for a more natural makeup look where you have like, you can see my pimples, you can see the freckles that I got from the sun. Um, it's just, it doesn't, it wouldn't match. So I go probably two, three coats, light coats on the top and then one very light coat on the bottom. Um, my eyelashes on the bottom are very long because obviously you don't put, I don't put any extensions on the bottom. So they're still my natural, very long eyelashes. So if I did a lot on the top and a lot on the bottom, I would look like I have like spiders. Like, um, what was that girl on The Bachelor? Oh, Maddie Pruitt. Does that mean? She's very pretty. Just got spider fur on her eyes. Um, so I'm gonna go off camera to do this because I can't do this in the camera. No freaking way. Hold on. Okay. I have eyelashes now. Not what I used to have. Not even just with extensions, but like, sometimes I put mascara on now. I'm like, hmm. My natural used to be a lot longer. But they'll get there. This quarantine is probably really good for them, you know, give them a little break. The next thing that I would do is my lips. Alright, and then the next step is to use some lip liner. My go-to one is an NYX um, matte lip liner in the color Sandstorm. It's like a pinky nude. Wow, I need to sharpen that, but will I know? Um, obviously, it's me, I'm gonna overline my lips just a little. What I really do is I overline from like here and here. You don't wanna overline from this point out and this point out. That's when you look ridiculous. You kinda wanna make this part, this these center parts bigger. You know? It gives you more of a pout rather than just large duck lips. Start here. And build up and then kind of cut in a little. And kind of fill in like your coloring. Oh my god, I really need to sharpen that, guys. Hold on. That's better. Good lord, that was difficult. You know when they're like so dull and like the sides are poking you? Because if you don't know what that feels like, that's, you're lucky. All right, so that's the bottom. You probably can't tell the difference. I start right here. So I'm bad at explaining what I'm doing. So I start right here. I kind of follow my natural lip line up to the corner and then cross down. So I still want that like, you want to keep your mouth shaped if you go straight across here and cut off that little dip of your cupid's bow, it's easier to tell that you've overlined and it looks more of like two big duck lips rather than like your natural lip shape. And then I bring it down just the same way I did here. So I'm not going all the way to the corner and then color in from here. I'm not really overlining today. I don't really color these parts in the middle because you want those to be kind of like accentuated and highlighted so when you go in with your lip color that's a little bit lighter you want it to stick out for my actual lip color I gave in I gave in and I got a Kylie Jenner freaking lipstick who am I mm. I can't wait to put alcohol on that in a minute. Her lipstick and butterscotch. That was really hard for me to read. It feels like butter. 
because it's butterscotch. Hmm. Good one, Kylie. Because I really don't, I'm not a big lipstick person. This is probably not a good technique to be trying to share with the world. I just rub it in to really make it look professional. I add Vaseline for a little glow. Really all for the Snapchats, isn't it? Or is it just me? Snapchats and Instagram. Um, anyways. Then. <laughs> Do you just hear all of my hands? All of my, all of my fingers? I'm pretty much done. I think what I would do next back with more bronzer and blush because I feel like when I finish my makeup look and I add the highlight and I add just like all this random stuff it kind of loses it a little bit so very lightly I kind of stay out here though mm, above the ear I do kind of like them sometimes and then lastly some What's it called? Setting spray. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is the no makeup makeup look that I've been trying out for myself. If you guys have any questions about like products that I used, please let me know. Well, I hope you guys are doing okay um, and that everybody, all your friends and family are staying safe and you're staying home. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time. Love ya, bye. Bye.